Um, let's see. Let's do an initialize with Robo4. So, that could be one way. Um, let me think. So, one way to do this is you can go in here to your split menu, and you can split a point, and then you can split this point here, and then that'll be kind of a way to do that. You can kind of put a little um, inset a uh, circle. Uh, but you'll have to have enough to support that. Like, you can't just plop a circle in here, although you can plop a circle in there if you do, um, like, a drag out. And Joseph Dress is much better at that type of thing than I am. Um, you know, just if you have... Okay, let's just do that real quick. So, can we do that? Nano mesh? Let's just do that really quick. So, here's another way you could do it. You could go in here to your... Um, polyplane 3D. I'll go to geometry here. Let's go to make polymesh 3D. And then we'll go to reconstruct. Whoops, too many. Delete higher. And we'll just really quickly do um, oops, control W. And then we'll clip this to a circle. Actually, we'll isolate that. And then we'll clip this out to a circle. No, that's not going to work. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Let's clip it into a circle, and then we can always just move it out. There we go. Now if we want to, we can scale this thing up. Oops. Okay, so then we've got this thing, and then now this will inset into a... Let's go ahead and collapse these. We're gonna go to collapse edge here, and here, and here. And then go out of X mode, and we'll just collapse these up and over. So you could, uh, let's do this over here. So we got four here. And you can go ahead and bridge these points if you want to. But now that you have this thing, you can go to brush. Uh, actually, we just made it. So now we can go in here to back to our working file, which was this thing. So if you did want to insert a circle here, you can mark that as a polygroup here. You can go to insert. Um, nano mesh, single poly. And then you want to select that plane that you made, this one. And then you can drag that out, and then as your nano mesh property, you could do, um, let's go fill, size of one, no rotation, and then, oops, the offset, this should be fine, zero. And then we'll do inventory, one to mesh, and now, this thing can just get replaced. You can replace this uh, polygroup. Let's go to delete. Now, would I suggest doing this? Probably not. Uh, just something I just came up with off the top of my head, but <laughs> that's another way you could possibly do it. I think Joseph Drust, he, ha he originally had a, um, a brush that he used, and he's much, like I said, he's much better at this, for like going in here and tagging surfaces and replacing these things. You just, you can insert, um, I think, and just replace this with like an offset circle if you want to. Um, or like I said, you can just go in here. If you have enough um, geometry to support it, you can go through there and just split these things, and like I said, just Q-mesh all these things back. Um, another alternative would be if we bridge these two, we'll do bridge connected polys. Bridge connected polys, we're going to do a circle, specified curvature of 100, specialized resolution of 8, triangle sides, and then we can just kind of do an arc between these two. Um, sometimes when it does that, you'll have to turn on align to normal. And it'll work. Now, in this case, since you've got two different resolutions on this side, you can do a split point. Uh, but then you'll probably want to go back through and do a split ring 
and that'll make a kind of an inset circle. Um, oh, really? Okay, cool. <laughs> but anyway, a uh, couple different options for you. Split ring, split, po split point, and then kind of an insert mesh thing. And of course, you don't have to go through the whole nano mesh thing. But I was like, you know what? If you wanted to insert it perfectly, you could use nano mesh. Um, 